Pre-trip in cab, perform a safe start, push in the clutch, make sure the vehicle's in neutral, turn the key to the on position, wait for the startup cycle to happen, and safely start the vehicle. Now that we've performed our safe start, we're gonna do our four points of safety. First, my seat belt. It is not torn or frayed and allows me to latch and unlatch properly. Next, I have my three reflective triangles. They are present and they are not bent, cracked, or damaged. I have my fire extinguisher, which is mounted and secured, is not bent, cracked, damaged, or leaking, and it is not expired. I have one fuse for each type. The next, my highway horn and my city horn both work. Coming down, my windows and mirrors are not cracked or damaged. They are clean and my mirrors are adjusted to me. My windshield wipers and fluid windshield wipers are not bent, cracked, or damaged. Fluid is working properly, and my windshield wipers keep my windshield clean. Next, I move to my defroster and heater. Defroster is properly working. Heater is properly working. Next, I move on to my gauges. My oil gauge is between 40 and 80 PSI. My water temperature is between 150 and 200. My primary and secondary air gauges are climbing to 120. My voltmeter is between 13 and 14 volts. And my def tank has no less than an eighth of a tank in it. My left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four-way flashers, my low beams, and my high beams properly work. I'm going to start my brake test now. I'm going to push in the clutch. Truck goes into first gear. I test my trailer brakes first, so I'm going to disengage the tractor brakes. I'm going to slowly release the clutch and the truck should tug, but not pull forward. She does just that. I'm gonna switch them. So I'm gonna dis uh, engage my parking brake, disengage the trailer brake, and the same thing. Slowly release the clutch. Truck should tug, but not pull forward. Now I'm gonna test my service brakes. So I'm gonna disengage both brakes foot on the clutch and I'm going to accelerate to five miles per hour. Push the brake, bring the vehicle to a complete stop, does not move left to right indicating the brakes are working properly. Now I'm going to test my governor cutoff. I'm going to rev the vehicle up to 1500 RPMs or 15 RPMs and I'm going to hold the RPMs until the gauges get to 125 PSI. At that time I'm going to hear a release of air underneath the vehicle indicating that the tanks are filled up and the governor cutoff is properly working. Heard the release of air that means the governor cutoff is working. Now I'm going to shut off the vehicle, release my foot from the clutch. Next I'm going to test my ABS. So I turn the key into the on position, watch for the lights to come on and turn off indicating that the ABS system is working properly. Next I'm going to do my minute test. I'm going to pull out my phone, put my foot on the brake, apply pressure, and I'm going to time for exactly one minute. And during that time, I shouldn't lose more than four pounds of pressure with my trailer, three pounds of pressure whilst bobtailing. Okay, my minute is up. I release the brakes. 
double check the primary and secondary air gauges. I haven't lost more than four PSI. Next, I'm gonna test my low pressure alarm system. I'm going to fan the brakes down to below 60 PSI. I should see and hear an audio and a visual alarm. I do. So now I'm gonna continue fanning the brakes. Below 40, closer to 20. And my valve should pop out. Indicating that the emergency brakes are working. We've got one and we've got two. The emergency brakes popped out. System is working properly, and that concludes my in cab. I'm going to perform another safe start to air up the system to continue the exam.